Hey everybody, <laughs> I forgot to put my headset in. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? It is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness. And today I wanna to talk about procrastination. And I wanna talk about how you can use procrastination in a good way. Most people talk about procrastination um, in a negative way. So like, you know, if you have tasks that you have to do for your job and you procrastinate and you put it off, that's usually frowned upon by your boss. But today I wanna to talk about how I use procrastination in a positive way. If you are new to Shape It Up, welcome. My name is Nicole. I am a personal trainer and I am the owner of Shape It Up Fitness. I am not a franchise. I am a one woman show here. So I am so glad you're here. And if you are a frequent watcher, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really excited. The channel is taking off the Facebook page. Um, we have over 8,000 subscribers or followers, whatever you want to call it. I am really thrilled that you guys are all here and I'm getting lots of comments on um, how much you like the material that I'm giving out. So keep them coming because the more I hear from you, the more I know what you wanted to learn about and I'll be happy to make videos about it or post. Um, if you want to check out more from Shape It Up Fitness, just head to shapeitupfitness.com and you can learn more about Shape It Up. Um, also, you can also learn more fitness tips for you ladies over 40. Okay, so diving into the video today, we are talking about procrastination in a positive way. So do you remember way back when, and I know for me it was a long time ago, but do you remember in school when you found out you had a test and the test was like two months away and you waited to study the night before? Yeah, college, <laughs> anyone. <laughs> um, and so you crammed for the test and sometimes you passed the test and then sometimes you like bombed out. You were procrastinating, right? That's not um, not obvious to you, I'm assuming. Um, I wanna give you a little story. So I have two kids and uh, one of my kids, not, well, I'll call her out, it's my daughter. <laughs> so she, um, love her dearly and she uh, will wake up 90 minutes, she's in seventh grade, she will wake up 90 minutes at the minimum before she has to be taken to school, so I drive her to school. She wakes up 90 minutes, and guess what time she decides to start getting actually ready for school? That means eating, getting, she has to get her lunch together, she has to, you know, obviously get changed and all that. She waits till 20 minutes before we have to leave. Um, it's kind of frustrating to me, but, that's the way she operates. Most people operate this way. You always wait till the last minute and then you rush, 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 rush and do what you gotta do. So how I use procrastination as a tool is I use this with food. And a perfect example came up today because I was having a lunch, um, which is absolutely delicious. It was a little bit of chicken and some romaine lettuce and I found this Japanese, um, dressing that I love at a Japanese restaurant we have here and it's very very close to it um, but so that was my lunch and as I'm eating it I'm like hmm a slice of bread with some butter would go really well with this right about now <laughs> so and I'm thinking about this and I'm like that's not what I had planned out for today so if you have not been following me I am still on a mission to step on a the stage for a bikini contest. Um, there is one coming up in November and I will step on that stage in November. So I'm following the plan that I have for my food. Um, and I don't always recommend the clients, uh, the clients that come to me, you don't always have to food log or anything like that, but I am in this instance. So I am thinking in my head, my little primitive brain is like, ooh, bread and butter would be so yummy with this. It would just make that meal so much better. And I was like, well, if I do that, then I have to switch some other things around. And, and I know that the bread's not going to fill me up as much as my next meal, which I'm going to have some yams and yams fills me up more. So all this stuff is spinning in my head. And what I do is 
I stop and I recognize that I'm craving this, okay? And what I do is I'll go, okay, I will have bread and butter tomorrow. I'll just put it on my plan that I'm going to eat for tomorrow. And then you'll get another thought that's like, well, really, Nicole, you should, you should have another, you should have a piece of bread and butter. Go get it. Go get it now. You know, like, like it's the last piece of bread and butter on the planet. Um, and I, I seriously, it, this takes time to go through once you try it because you might try it the first time and you'll be like, yeah, screw it. I'm going to have the bread and butter. Um, but once you get to a point where you recognize that your brain is just like wanting some sort of pleasure or whatever, and it's not fitting, it'd be one thing if it fit into what my goals are, but it's not fitting into my goals for today. So what I do is I say I'm going to have it tomorrow. Um, and I really love, 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 love using this because when bigger things come up, again, if you follow me, you know I love Cinnabon cinnamon buns um, or like donuts and stuff like that, but I use procrastination to delay me getting those cinnamon buns or whatever it is that I am craving. So for me, where I live, in order for me to get a cinnamon bun, I would have to get in the car, drive about 15, 20 minutes, get out of the car, go into the mall, into the center of the mall, stand in line, order my cinnamon bun, get it, get back in the car, drive home, maybe heat it up, right? So there's this whole process and I actually will run this process through my head because for me, it's almost like, it's almost in a good way that I'm lazy about that because that's a lot of steps that I don't wanna have to do in order to eat a thousand calorie Cinnabon. Don't get me wrong, Cinnabon, if anybody from Cinnabon's watching, I love your food, but it's like a once in a year, once time a year type of thing. Um, same thing with when I like have a craving at home. And so like I have, um, I am most of the time I'm gluten free and dairy, I def definitely dairy free, but there are some really yummy chocolate chip mixes by Bob's Red Mill. Again, not affiliated with any of these people. And I hope you guys don't, um, hear these yummy things that I'm telling you about and want to go get them. <laughs> but um, Bob's Red Mill has a delicious chocolate chip cookie, which surprisingly enough, because I'm not a chocolate person at all, um, but they're really yummy. And I usually have a bag in the cabinet um, for like quick things, like if I need cookies for like, you know, kids that are coming over or something like that. Um, but in my mind, like I'll even go through recipes and if it has more than like three steps or even like more than five ingredients, like when I look at a recipe and I see 40 ingredients or 20 ingredients, I'm like, I don't want to spend the time to put that together. <laughs> so like, and I know some of you baking is cathartic, um, but for me, it's a nightmare because I start thinking of, okay, do I have all the ingredients? Um, then I have to like measure all the ingredients out and I usually have to measure twice because I want to make sure I have it right and I'm constantly looking at the recipe to make sure I have the right ingredients so it comes out right and then I put everything in the bowl and then you put it in the you know the oven and it bakes and then my absolutely favorite part you have to clean it up which I absolutely hate that is a big big factor in why I don't bake <laughs> I don't want to have to clean up the dishes so Use procrastination and you can use a little bit of laziness in your world to make you get closer to your goals. Um, I can't tell you how many times I have been like, oh, that sounds yummy. And then I'm like, eh, no, it's too much work. I don't want to have to get it. <laughs> I don't want to have to do it. And then I don't eat it. Or like I said, the best thing that I kept telling myself, especially when I felt like I was in a craving loop, um, for you ladies, if you're still in that lovely time of the month thing, um, you know, we tend to get cravings a little bit more because of the hormones. And I just kind of go, okay, if I really want it, I can have it tomorrow. And if it's somewhere I have to drive or do some extra 10 steps for, I won't do it. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. If you have any questions about this or any comments, you can always put it in the comment section below. Happy to answer. I answer all the comments that I see. 
And if you are interested in requesting a phone consult with me, you can head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. No, call, slash call. So it's shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. -L. I'll leave the link in the post as well. I hope this was helpful and use procrastination to your favor. Definitely go get your workouts in. Do not use procrastination for your workouts, but definitely use it for your favorite foods. All right, that is all for me today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I'll see you soon. Bye.